What's the news across the nation? We have got the information. In a way, we hope we'll amuse you. Time for the Laugh-In News with George Wallace, who's all white, Jack Benny, who's real tight, William Buckley, who's all right, and Howard Hughes, out of sight. And now, here's Dan and Dick. And somewhere in Burbank, presently, here's Dick with the news of the present. Detroit. In an effort to increase interest in the halftime activities of football games, the NFL last week presented the Pocatella All-Nude Marching Band. <laughs> The game was finally completed two days later. The final tally was Rams 14, Lions 7, and drum majorettes 112. <laughs> close game, wasn't it? Yes. Los Angeles, California, the planned women's liberation motorcade down Hollywood Boulevard failed to materialize today when the entire 454 ladies hopped into their cars, started their engines, and backed into each other. <laughs> There. The Pentagon today announced the aircraft carrier Hornet was, as they have picked up a mermaid, oh, that the, is. The Hornet picked up The Hornet mermaid. picked up the mermaid. She is now undergoing tests to determine the effects of having spent 23 years in ocean water, mm -hmm. three and a half months on the Hornet, and a fantastic weekend at the Pentagon. <laughs> and now, for news of the future, here's Dan. I always thought there was something fishy at the Pentagon. Here's the news of the future 20 years from now. People have long complained about the oil slicks and the oil seepage off the western coast of the United States. Problem was ended last night by a lifeguard in Santa Monica who got careless with a match and burned down the Pacific Ocean. <laughs> News of the future 20 years from now, scientists who have been experimenting with marijuana for the past 20 years emerged from their laboratory with two important conclusions. First, they say, marijuana is completely harmless. And second, they say, the moon is trying to kill us. <laughs> News of the... <laughs> I heard a fellow say that one day. News of the future 100 years from now, former sex queen Raquel Welch was reincarnated today, came back in the form of a chihuahua whose feet cannot touch the ground. And now, for the young point of view, we take you to a treehouse somewhere in Burbank for Moosey Dreyer at Kid News for Kids. Moosey here with Kid News for Kids. Last Saturday, we played Hide and Go Seek. But you hid in Mr. O'Reilly's station wagon, and we couldn't find him. Maybe we'll never find him, because it wasn't Mr. O'Reilly's station wagon. It belonged to some man that was driving to Salt Lake City. <laughs> the, the rising cost of automobile insurance has prompted many states to look into the feasibility of no-fault insurance. Here to explain this concept is Eric Clarified. Okay. Right. The basic premise of no-fault insurance is that no matter who is at fault, it doesn't matter whose fault it was. Now, although there are some people who feel there are many faults in no-fault while others fault the fault concept. I may not have the, all the facts, but that's not my fault. <laughs> and now for the British point of view, we take you to our man in London. Hello. I say, here we are at the lavish estate of Sir Basil Beasley, one of England's foremost white hunters. Mr. Huggins, uh, you accompanied Sir Basil on his recent safari to Africa. How did it go? Oh, well, it went very badly, madam. We did not see a single wild animal for the first three months. Well, that's terrible. What did you do? Well, we finally decided to leave London and go to Africa. <laughs> Well, I'm sure that you found something there. Oh, that we did, madam. We found a small native village, undersized, I might add, being terrorized by a man-eating lion. What happened? I didn't start with you, did I? Oh, well, I'll tell you what happened. His lordship, being a sporting gent that he was, right. he promised the people of that village they would never be terrorized by the aforementioned man-eating lion again. Jolly hockey sticks, he destroyed the lion. Uh, no, he destroyed the village. Uh, 
busy, buzzy, babbling around Tinseltown and get this latest Hollywood flash. Today, casting began at National Studios for the lead role in the Mama Cass story. 39 actresses showed up to audition, and all were given the part. <laughs> Start talking Tubby Town. <laughs> kissy, kissy. Oh. <laughs> now to compare the wages of our police force with various policemen all over the world, we take you to Canada. Sir, yes. what does a man who has been riding with the Royal Canadian Mounted Police for five years get? A royal pain in the... And that's how it is this morning, October 29th, 1603.